Charles has asked uh, more information on knowing what crimp tool or size as far as the A, B, C and D etc to use for which crimp. I always find it hard to know if I'm using the correct one. Absolutely reasonable question there Charles and this is one of the downsides when we are using uh, generic crimp tooling as opposed to some of the more expensive uh, OE specific or uh, terminal specific crimp tooling. So with the generic crimp tooling the, the key really is trial and error so what we want to do is some test crimps and basically with a test crimp we're going to use a scrap of wire and a scrap terminal we're going to crimp these down using the different dies and just see how it pans out. Now if you're using a die that is too big it's going to be really apparent really quickly because uh, just a small amount of pressure on the wire is going to have it pull out the back of the connector so uh, a little bit of a tug test will give you an idea of whether you're in the right ballpark. On the other hand over crimping is actually just as bad as under crimping but uh, here a visual inspection of the finished crimp is going to give you some insight into whether you've gone too far and you'll actually see uh, some pretty obvious deformation in the terminal around the crimp area uh, so that's sign you've, you've over crimped that particular terminal. So once you've kind of calibrated your crimp tool for the gauge of wire you're using and the terminals that you're crimping it becomes pretty straightforward. Uh, just on terms of that tug test as well that might sound a little bit rudimentary and a little bit sort of backyardish but the reality is that this is exactly what the pros do as well however naturally they've got a machine to do the work for, for them so uh, tug testing is actually a technique it's just that at the professional level a calibrated machine is doing the work to give us a bit more validation than uh, your hands are likely to do. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you're the type of guy who wants to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning and you'll also have the chance to ask your own questions which I'll be answering live. Remember it's 100% free so follow the link to claim your spot.